Hi guys. I have debated back and forth on what to do and whether or not to get on here and talk to you guys today because it's still it's still very fresh and I'm sure I posted a, a YouTube short I'm sure most of you already know if you don't my my husband Timmy passed away Friday morning um, and I wanted to get on here for a couple of reasons one is because I want to thank you all because I have gotten hundreds of messages and comments from you guys and I can't respond to them all I've went through and hearted some of them but I just I re, I re, I'm reading them all but I just can't I can't I mean there's so many for one and for two I just can't right now but I want you to know that it does bring me comfort um, to know how much all of you care about him. Um, this is hard. It's all hard. <laughs> and, you know, I talked to my friend about it yesterday. I was like, I don't know what to do about YouTube. Like, you know, I, I thought, well, I'll just take some time, you know, a few weeks or something and then uh, as that when I'm sitting here alone I think what am I gonna do with myself <laughs> um you know to me I was with him almost 24 7 other than when he was with at dialysis you know or when I would go down to my mom's or something and that was my life you know taking care of him taking him to doctor's appointments and all of this stuff it took up a lot of my time and now I don't know if this is blurry or not and now like I don't know what I'm gonna do with my time YouTube is YouTube has always been a creative outlet for me and it's an income source for me. This is my job. Um, and I do plan on continuing it. I just don't know what that looks like now. <laughs> um, you know, to think about posting a video on Sunday and not having Timmy at the end of it. It's hard and I know that you guys are gonna miss him too being in my videos and you know he was a light for a lot of you I can't tell you <laughs> can't even begin to tell you how many people comment and message me and not just uh, since this happened but from the beginning about how much you care about him and love him and feel like he was part of your family and um, had people tell me I've had people message me and say I'm not a Christian but listening to Timmy sing brings me peace I've had people tell me I stopped going to church but I started going back because of Timmy he had no idea like I read the messages to him and the comments and everything but he didn't understand um, why <laughs> you guys thought so much of him um if you anybody knew timmy <laughs> he struggled you know with his health but with other things as well and just like anybody else and one thing that i know and everybody knew about him is that he loved he loved jesus and he praised him for everything, whether it be a good parking spot <laughs> or <laughs> healing his feet that time he nearly had to have his half his foot amputated. Like it didn't matter how big or small it was. 
he praised God and thanked God for it. Um, so I wanted to do this just to thank, I'm sorry, I'm shaking the camera. So I wanted to do this just to thank you guys. And also I have this video that's gonna be playing now that was recorded last week and it feels, I already had it uploaded and set to post today, but it just felt so, it just felt so weird for it to go live today after he's gone. And you know, I was so happy, cheerful in this video, but it was a sponsored video. And so it has to post today. But I just needed, I, you know, I talked to my friend about it. I was like, I just feel, I don't know what to do about this video. Like, I don't, I don't feel right about it posting today. And I thought, you know what? I've always came on here, I feel like, and been as honest as I can be about things and about life. And so why stop now? <laughs> um... So I don't, like I said, I don't know what this channel is going to be like. I think, I, I just can't figure out how, like, what do I do? How do I create content right now? Like, uh, I know I could take time. I know that I can. But what am I going to do with that time? Like, I need something to help me fill that time. And I don't know. But I do know that there are so many of you who have messaged me and commented that you've lost a loved one, that you're going through grief and um, you can identify with what I'm going through. So I've just been thinking that maybe I'll just share that for now. You know, I think Timmy's funeral is gonna be this coming Saturday, next Saturday so that everybody can be sure to be there. His daughter's coming in from out of state. And um, I'm gonna work on a video putting together some different clips and stuff of him to play for the funeral. And I wanna share that on my channel, that video um, next Sunday. So if you wanna see that, I'll be posting that next week. Um, and then after that, I don't know, like I, I'm just gonna share life for now. And um, if you wanna come along for that, then that's wonderful. And um, I also wanna thank, you know, I thank you guys for all of my, all of my subscribers, but I also thank my YouTube friends, like other YouTube creators it's kind of like having coworkers, you know, have, we don't, we work by ourselves and, but you know, we have a lot of YouTubers have other YouTube friends that they talk to and can confide in and things and discuss projects and different things and challenges that we have. And I have a few really good ones and, um, they have really reached out to me and been really kind. <laughs> And I'm so thankful for you, especially Carrie and Marina. Um, I can't thank you guys enough for everything. Um, I just thank all of you. I'm, I'm thankful and grateful and blessed. And I'll be okay. <laughs> I know where Timmy is. I know one day I'll be with him again. And thank you guys so much. And um, I love you. Timmy loved you all. And I thank you for the prayers. When I I see the 
place in my home that needed organizing the most was my kitchen. Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks so much for hanging out with me again this Sunday. I always enjoy our time together and I hope you do as well. In today's video, we're gonna be doing something that's been requested a few times from different people, and that is a small space storage solutions video. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you all of the things that I use to help me organize our small space. You guys know this is a two bedroom, one bath, single wide mobile home. It is a 14 by 52, so we are less than 800 square feet. It's just that my husband and I and our pets, our fur babies, so we don't need as much space as other people might who have big families, but when you're a thrifter, you tend to accumulate a lot of stuff. Even though I try to be diligent about taking out things when I bring new things in, you still have to be very careful and you still need ways and tools to keep things from being a cluttered hot mess <laughs> so i'm going to show you like i said different things like organizational solutions that i have found um, one of my biggest tips when living in a small space is to use as much vertical space as you can so i'm going to show you how i do that and um yeah let's just see what we get into before we get started i do want to thank native for sponsoring today's video i've been wearing native deodorant for a few weeks now and i've really been enjoying it as someone who's been working towards switching to cleaner ingredients I love that their products are aluminum and paraben free, as well as vegan and cruelty free. Native's deodorants offer a 72 hour odor protection and they have so many wonderful scents to choose from. It was hard for me to choose which ones I wanted. <laughs> um, I ended up going with the sea salt and cedar, the coconut and vanilla, and the eucalyptus and mint. I love that they're made with simple and effective ingredients like coconut oil and shea butter. I have been wearing the sea salt and cedar. Um, I, this is the one that I chose to use first. I'm a big fan of sea salt and beachy scents. It's definitely my favorite. It just has that, that beachy sea salt smell. Ooh, it smells so good, I can't quit smelling it. I really love this one, and I am a big fan of eucalyptus and mint as well, so I do love this one too. It's very minty. It has such a fresh 
scent to it, like a clean scent. I really like this one as well. Timmy's favorite was the coconut and vanilla. He's all about the scents, y'all. He loves cologne and all the good smelling stuff, and he loved all of these, but I made him choose one. <laughs> and he chose the coconut and vanilla, so which was good because I wanted the sea salt and cedar. I also really appreciate that these go on smooth. They're not sticky at all, and they feel dry when you apply them. I've also really been loving using their body wash. I have the lilac and white tea scent. This also smells divine. It's such a sweet floral scent. It smells so good, y'all. So good, highly recommend. Native just launched their candy shop collection. This collection has craveable candy shop inspired scents that will surely satisfy your sweet tooth with an explosion of color, fragrance, and fun. Like gummy bears, sweet cinnamon hearts, sour berry belts, and strawberry and vanilla taffy. Native also offers a plastic-free version of their deodorant using the same formula, but with more sustainable packaging. The plastic-free version is earth-friendly and 100% plastic-free. So you can't go wrong with any of these scents, but honestly, I think that any scent you choose from Native, you will be more than happy with. So they kindly have offered us a discount code for you guys. Be sure to use my link down in the description box below and use my code LITTLEBLESSED and you'll get 20% off your first purchase at Native. This is available site-wide, but it is a limited time offer. So be sure to go ahead and stock up and save. I feel like the place in my home that needed organizing the most was my kitchen. It's a very small kitchen. I don't have a lot of cabinet space. So I'm gonna show you what I've done to maximize my storage space and to organize all of the things that you need to make a kitchen function. So first off, we're gonna start here in my pantry. I have a teeny tiny pantry, but I am thankful to have it. The first thing I did to add more storage space to my little pantry was to add vertical storage by Adding this wire um, shelving unit, it has eight shelves on it. Some cereals here and water bottles. This is all of my Motivate products I've been using. Protein shakes and some coconut oil. And then on this one I just have like um, seasoning packets and things like that. And then my oatmeal I keep right here. All of my coffee syrups, my skinny syrups are on this shelf. And then the other ones are pretty much just like random stuff, like some PB2, some um, salad dressing, syrups, some sweet potatoes, and then like just some random stuff down here. So this works out so well to keep my pantry more organized, easy to find. I just reach in here and grab what I need and it works perfectly. Now down here in the bottom of my pantry, I added this big basket that I keep all of my bottled waters in. I keep a few up on the shelf just to for easy reaching. Any two liters that we might have, Timmy drinks those. I keep them down here on the bottom as well. Now you may remember, I think it was last year sometime, if I'm not mistaken, probably earlier in the year, I went in and did a makeover on my pantry. I built these shelves here and I have a video on that so I'm gonna link it down in the description box below and I'll try to remember to put a little link up here in the corner as well for those of you who are watching on your phone or on your computer so I'm gonna show you how I organize this here <laughs> on the top shelf obviously it's hard to reach things that are back there so I pretty much just put overflow stuff back there and then right here, just these containers, which holds my dog food, cat food, and then just some random stuff in these here. On these shelves, it's not as organized as it could be. And I know all the stuff isn't facing out, which bugs some of you, <laughs> but it's fine. Honestly, with these, a lot of these canned goods have been in here for a while. We don't use a lot of canned goods. So, um, yeah. So they've been here for a while, pretty much. We've got some soups and different things. I've got a Lazy Susan back here in the back with like extra condiments. That works well. Um, now on this shelf, I also built these because I wanted to put my microwave in here. Now I am careful. I make sure that it has like space behind it in the back and I always leave the door open when I'm using the microwave so that it has good ventilation. 
Um, honestly, we don't use the microwave that much, so it's really not a big deal. That's one reason why I wanted to put it in here and get it up off of my counter. Here beside it, I've got two little containers. I think that may be from Dollar Tree. I'm not sure, but these are just cheap little containers that I use to store extra spices and other things like that that I don't keep on my spice rack. And then in the bottom, on the bottom shelf here, I've got these bins. Um, I'm honestly not sure where I picked these up at, but they're just clear plastic bins. Probably came from Walmart, I would say. Um, you can, of course, get some from Dollar Tree, wherever you want to get your bins from. But I keep, like, dry goods in here, extra dry goods, like flowers and coconut oil and oats and things like that. And then here we have tuna fish and just random stuff honestly i got bread in this one and crackers um, but i have them all across the shelf here so this works out really well i also have a bag here that i keep bags in and you don't live in the south if you don't have a bag full of bags <laughs> we use these for like waste baskets and things like that so this is what my pantry looks like. It stays pretty organized for the most part. Usually whenever I get groceries and go to put stuff away, I'll just tidy it up. Like I said, it's not perfect right now anyway, but this is what it looks like. It works really well. I am super happy with it and stores all of the stuff that we need to store. Another thing that has helped me out a lot in my small kitchen is drawer organizers. I don't have a lot of drawers. I only have one actual cabinet drawer. It's a really wide one and deep, but I actually get a little bit more drawer storage from furniture pieces that I added to my kitchen. So let me show you the drawer organizers that I have. One of them I built myself. Um, very simple, just some boards that I screwed together. And then the other one I actually bought off Amazon. You probably have seen it on YouTube or TikTok or Instagram before. I love the thing. I love organizational stuff <laughs> in general. So yeah, I was influenced to buy this, but I do love it. So I, it is going to be linked in my Amazon shop if you're interested in getting one. So what I'm talking about is actually this organizer for all of your sandwich bags, um, Ziploc bags plastic wrap and aluminum foil now i didn't have any aluminum foil on the roll which is what you're supposed to put in here so i just these are the sheets and i just pulled them out of the box and stuck them down in there but you're technically supposed to put the roll of foil and it has the little thing that cuts it for you and that's especially handy for the plastic wrap because you guys know that stuff's a nightmare to cut um so this holds your snack bags your regular sandwich size bags and this one is quart size and then the, this one holds your gallon size bag so i don't know i just love this thing i'm very happy with with my purchase now this section here is the one that i built myself with just some leftover wood i sectioned it off i've got these little uh, clear bins i think these came from tj maxx actually um, and it just separates like water flavors timmy loves lemonade i like the peach iced tea and then we have some random ones over here that the kids like when they come over i have a back section here that i just store random stuff like some the mio flavors and um, like little funnels and just just random things are back there in the back and then over here i have some utensils like my wooden spoons that I stir my coffee with. Just little items that I don't really have anywhere else to put, like my straws. That's what I keep there. And then we don't have a ton of silverware because we don't need a ton of silverware. We're pretty much the only people that eat here. And the more you have, the more you have to wash. <laughs> but I just throw them all in the drawer. They're not organized, but it works fine for us. This little um, table that I purchased at the thrift shop and I've got this. This just makes me happy, guys. <laughs> this little organizer I picked up at Goodwill. You can find things like this at Goodwill quite often. And I've got just instant coffees in here, some tea bags, some other tea bags. I like to drink tea on occasion. Um, I've got these Atkin bars. I eat these for a sweet treat every now and then. And then some peanut butter and crackers for the kids if they're up here and wanting a snack. So that works perfectly for this little drawer. 
Another thing that I did to create more storage in my small kitchen was to build a rolling pantry. When I first got the idea of building this rolling pantry, I intended to store canned goods and pantry items on it. But after I got it built, I actually moved, moved it to the side of my fridge beside my sink. And the more I looked at it, the more I realized that it would be really good to store like dry goods and seasonings and things like that on. So I actually pivoted a little bit and changed it up my direction that I was going with the rolling pantry. And I'm so happy that I did because it works out perfectly. So let me show you that if you haven't already seen it. This is my, it's a rolling pantry, but I actually don't ever pull it out except for to clean the bottom shelf. But you can see it is on rollers. Um, on the top shelf, I have all of my seasonings or most of my seasonings. People ask me about these jars. These are actually from Walmart. They come, the seasoning comes in these jars. Um, I don't really love the purple on there, but they're working just fine. Um, then I have some dry goods. I've got cocoa powder, chia seeds, marshmallows, and different things and nuts in these jars. I think pretty much all these came from Goodwill or a thrift shop. And then on this shelf, I have more dry goods. Now I ordered these from Amazon and I really love them. I actually ordered another one. They come in a set of eight. And so I ordered another batch and I'm gonna put them on the shelf down here because I have a lot more dry goods stuff that I wanna put in there and I just really like these. They seal really well. Now something that may bother you that doesn't bother me is that some of the lids are slightly different in color. Um, so if that's something that bothers you, you might not wanna order these, but it doesn't bother me. I put them on my shelf here. You can't even tell it at all. Um, but these will also be linked in my Amazon shop if you're interested. On this shelf here right now, I just have a bunch of empty containers. These I picked up at Goodwill recently. They came in a Ziploc bag. Um, for just a few dollars and they look very similar to these but I haven't put anything in them yet because I don't have any labels to go on them and I know if I pour seasonings in there I'm not going to remember what's in them so I'm waiting until I figure out a solution with the labeling and then down here below I decided to store my cleaning supplies down here because it's behind this or sort of behind this um I hung this um curtain here it's actually i think a flower sack is what you call these I, they come in a pack at walmart and i put them on these little rings and hung it here to hide my trash can so that works perfectly and then i've got trash bags here and then just all of my cleaning supplies um this shelf here i've got like produce wash and some chia seeds just extra things that i just keep right there that I use quite frequently. So under here, underneath my sink, I have this little handy over the door hanger for my paper towels. I love this thing. It keeps them up off of the counter. We don't use a ton of paper towels, so this works just perfectly. And then under the sink, I've got these wire um, shelves that lifts things up off of the ground so I can store a few things underneath there. So these are just some things that I didn't really want to keep on my rolling pantry, so I just store them under here. Got extra like Swiffer stuff, um, extra, um, what are these things? Magic erasers, dish liquid, some old laundry detergent I don't really use anymore. And then I've also got this little a uh, big pan here that I sometimes use if I have a lot of dishes to wash. I'll set this on my countertop and let them drain in that. Um, but that is what is under my kitchen sink. Not a lot going on there. Some of you have been asking about my counter space underneath my cabinet because you guys know I got that big um, toaster oven to get rid of all of my other gadgets so I could have most of them just in one gadget, <laughs> one big gadget. That thing's huge. But it has worked out so much better. It's so much easier for me to get stuff out from this cabinet because it was all just piled in there. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. Now luckily these are pretty deep cabinets. But on my top shelf I just have a pan, some little square cake pans, a muffin pan or cupcake pan. 
I've got my induction burner that I use to cook on because if you didn't know, I don't have a stove in my small kitchen. So if I need to boil something, um, I will use this. That's pretty much all I use it for is things that I need to cook like in a big pot or boil or something like that. I have a little skillet here. Um, in the back there, I do have a mini waffle maker. And then this is my big um, ninja what was this thing called ninja foodie oven that's what it's called but this thing air fries it bakes it toasts it roasts it does all the things so anytime i need to do any of that i just pull this out and stick it up on top of my counter but in in the meantime i just keep it down here out of the way because it is big like it goes all the way to the back of this cabinet it fits perfect <laughs> thankfully i'm so glad and then over here on the side, I just have a glass baking dish, um, a little mini bullet blender, and a cutting board. So as you can see, it's all nice and neat. It's easy to reach in and get what I need. It's not all piled up and a giant mess like it was. I'm so happy with how this is. It's so much more functional. My electric skillet is on my countertop right now because I pretty much leave it out a lot because I use it every day. But when I'm not using it, it fits in this cabinet here as well. All right, we're going to crawl over here <laughs> to the um, hutch that I got recently. This is a thrift find that I got from the flea market a few months ago. And I just love it so much. Not only does it hold all of my beautiful white dishes that I like to collect, or some of them. Some of them are also in my on my um hutch this is my china cabinet i think you call this thing but um i also have some in my island here but not too many um people ask me all the time do i use these dishes i do use them sometimes um but it's just my husband and i we don't use a ton of dishes i just think they're pretty i like the way they look i like to decorate with them but yes i do use them sometimes if i need to some of them i use regularly i have like three or four in my cabinet here we pretty much just use the same ones all the time because i just keep them washed and you know we don't need a whole ton of dishes <laughs> even though i keep collecting them so yeah all right let's crawl, crawl over here so again if you're new here my home is tiny my kitchen and living room are open to one another so my china cabinet is kind of borderline in my kitchen borderline in my living room <laughs> so let me show you how i store things in my china cabinet all right so here is what's going on inside of this i have my dutch oven i used to make soups and chili and spaghetti and stuff like that in there and a lot of people asked me about this it is very pretty i love it it's actually pioneer woman brand and it's from walmart and it's cast iron it's super heavy and i really love it and then I have a small crock pot right here that I use uh, quite a bit. I keep my big cake plate here that we use for special occasions. I have a small little pot here I don't use very much. Um, a pitcher that I use on occasion to make lemonade. And then some extra cookbooks. Um, and then I just have some extra storage stuff here. Just some glassware that I wanted to get out of my island because I don't use it very often and that's what we have in there still have the knobs that you guys love the pools I know y'all like these in this drawer I have all of my towels and like dish cloths and things like that it's full um, this is the best place that I could find to store these and it works perfectly if you follow me on instagram then you know that timmy and i've been going to the soda shop on thursdays for a lunch date for a while now and i thought i would share some clips with you from there this was from the first time that i took him there he really loved it they play a lot of elvis music they have a jukebox and he just really liked being there there he is folks What do you think about the soda shop? Very nice. Very nice. Pretty cool place, huh? Mm -hmm, sure is. What did you order, madam? Um, I got the soup of the day, the vegetable soup, and chicken salad. Chicken salad sandwich. This is a wonderful place. Good. Proud to be here. <laughs> Thanks for luncheon with me. Thank you for having me. 
I really enjoy the vegetable beef soup with the chicken salad sandwich, and I like their chicken apple salad. How was that lunch? Wonderful. You enjoyed it? I did. You come back again? I will. <laughs> uh, look at him with those you no know, glasses on. No glasses. I can see clearly <laughs> now with glasses on. <laughs> All right, friends, that's going to be it for today's video. Again, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if you have any good storage and organizational um, recommendations, tips. I would love to hear them, and I'm sure everyone else would as well. So be sure to leave those below. I am looking forward to seeing you again in the next video. I hope you guys have a great week. See you then. Bye.